Please. And Rashid, I think one pertinent question, it may be of academic value, I don't know, but what, 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 in, what on earth was that whole G23 experiment? Today, every one of those remaining G23 members, of course, Mr. Sibyl has left and Mr. Azad has left, but every one of the remaining ones from Mr. Huda to Mr. Manish Tiwari to Anand Sharma were all proposers of Mr. Kharge's name. So what was this whole G23 experiment about? Well, uh, the joke was that, you know, G23 has become uh, uh, J-I, the G, the G Huzuri type of thing. But I think it's, again, I would go back, I think it's got to do with some kind of uh, caste considerations because uh, since the morning I'd been here, or last night, I'd been hearing this that, you know, the, a certain caste has not been loyal to the, you know, Congress or Congress leadership and names of Chan Shekhar and VP Singh and several other names were mentioned. And I think uh, that's where it becomes a little, uh, you know, problematic for the Congress. Uh, when, uh, Narsimha, when, uh, when Narsimha Rao had uh, left the Congress or resigned, uh, he had chosen uh, Sitaram Kesi as the successor. And at that time, it was said that that was Narsimha Rao's way of uh, seeking revenge from the Congress, uh, whatever Congress had done uh, to him. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I just wonder, why, what is the purpose? Who's seeking revenge from the Congress now? No, no. Look, look. Uh, let's be very clear. I, I, you, you. I mean, you know, I defer to your wisdom about the Congress Party, but I don't think Digvijay Singh's candidature got struck down by the High Command because of his caste, but perhaps because of his loyalty or his fickle nature. Maybe had this had this election happened in two thousand eight or two thousand ten, maybe you know, Mr. Kharge <laughs> would not have been the surprise candidate. But you know, th this whole caste thing also brings me to the point that. Uh, again, I'm not taking anything away from what Mr. Kharge has achieved in his life. Of course, he's had a stellar and a very long political career from ministership to leader of the opposition, so on and so forth. But this experiment of having a Dalit candidate, Advaita, the Congress party did that for, for electoral reasons, for whatever uh, symbolic reasons in Punjab, in Mr. Channi. And look what happened. I mean, it's not like that could salvage the Congress's prospects in that state. Again, here, as, as Rashid said, the caste factor was perhaps an important one. It was a consideration in Mr. Kharge's candidature. But just for symbolic reasons, if you're going to do it, that's not going to give you electoral rewards. But Zaka, that's if you're looking at the Congress president's position as someone who's going to be, uh, you know, drawing the votes. Uh, to be very honest, I mean, both candidates have had... Uh, you know, political success and uh, had long careers in politics. Shashi Tharoor, of course, has won three elections, Lok Sabha elections, and that can't be taken away from either of them. But are they going to be vote getters on a national scale? I don't think so. And I don't necessarily think that that's what the Congress is looking for necessarily either. Because uh, if that was the case, then uh, we would see a very different uh, election and different candidates. I think what uh, what you have here, and this is, again, that's problematic, and I keep saying this because this is a conversation that the ailing party has to have with the public as well, even though it's an internal process that they're going through. And that is to restore some confidence in who's going to be leading and really in the office of the Congress president. So you have had very illustrious people, although it was a different Congress at that point of time, pre-independence, and we know the splits and the sort of takeover yeah. of the party by the dynasty subsequently. But certainly, I mean, there have been very illustrious, great people who have occupied that office. Mm. So I think, you know, like what has been said about Prime Minister Manmohan Singh's up, prime ministership, wherein yeah. he was considered to be remote controlled. I think a similar kind of narrative is also being built around the Congress president's office, okay. which is truly unfortunate for a party that is over 100 years no, because, old. Be, and I think the, the Congress has was, to take this very seriously. Here, here they may uh, want to debate it on, in public, but yeah. within themselves, they have to introspect on where they're going. There was a with genuine opportunity for the Congress party to actually wipe the slate clean. I'll give Sanjeev the final word. I have less than a minute to wrap up, Sanjeev. Do you think Mr. Kharge looks like he will he will be he will be the winner? I mean, it's it's evident from the you know the people who were there to propose him. The message has clearly gone down the rank and file that he is the quote unquote chosen one. Do you believe uh, from whatever we've seen of his record in the in the centre uh, from 2014 onwards, his first as LOP in the Lok Sabha and then as LOP in the Rajya Sabha, Mr. Kharge is in a position to take on Modi Shah? See. Whoever becomes the president, 
the task of taking on modi shah will squarely fall on rahul gandhi let's we cannot really act as if we are uh, kind of not knowing the true score is he is the main protagonist on the congress side and he's rahul gandhi is taking on so so the i think the importance of kharge saab what I don't realize is that taking while it takes all the boxes right experience stature background exp whatever it's also important to note that he at least will not be the reason for any fresh controversy which are digvijay singh ji or a tharur saab could have been and okay. i with all respects to both of them so you need there will be no transformational change nobody is expecting transformational change so right. he is the best candidate at this time and just one more very quick point zaka when i said about mr jairam ramesh i don't agree with sanju ji saying that he trying the minor thing i was and i agree with supriya also to the point that the main show right now is bharat jodo but as the chief of communications wing he should choose his words with more right. care so there's no room left for misinterpretation oh, okay Why i, I got to wrap up sanju i'm really i'm really out of time but 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 thank you very much uh, despite you know the this is sometimes acrimonious nature of these debates we'll leave it at that uh like i said uh you know this was a great opportunity for the congress party to to turn a page or to try and uh, uh reflect a new congress party uh whether or not that will be achieved through the candidature of these two individuals and whoever goes on to win uh we'll have to wait and see but